This is Cybert signing into Red Alert 3 on the map Industrial Strength. In the south side as the Red Random Allies, this is CW Edvin, who I'll be referring to as Edvin. And in the north as the Cyan Empire, this is XYHC, who I will be referring to as Shy, because the XY, uh, when it's a different player's name in StarCraft, is shy, so, or at least that's how people say it. And that's easier than saying XYHC. And I don't know if that's a smurf or something. But we're gonna be just calling him Shy and Edvin, because that's easier. So we're back on Industrial Strength. Uh, kind of weird to see this map twice in a row like this. Shy gonna be using his dojo to body block for his engineer, while Edvin uses his dog to secure that, uh, that oil derrick on the north side of the map. And as I said, it's a random allies. So he, going into this, Edvin, he knew he was in an AVE, but going into it for those first few moments, Shy did not know he was going to be playing an EVA. So standard openers from both of these players is what I'm guessing is going to be happening. Although it is an early airfield, uh, normally isn't that for, I guess maybe you have to be earlier if you want to hunt... Uh, hunt engineers, but gonna be going for that Apollo. Ooh, and the Dragonfly gets it anyways. Gonna be using the uh, the Force Attack to take that Burst Drone. Dragonfly Burst Drone. What's the difference? Gonna be taking that down. Single Javelin Trooper does get sniped out on the field, and on this dog, he was able to see the Mecha Bay go down. He's like, all right. You're going, you're going pretty normal. You got your two refineries up. I'm keeping an eye on what else you're doing on the map. A couple of dojo cores still running around the map. Mecha Tangu's going to be looking for some early harass, some angles, and two Apollos going to be trying to catch them out in the middle. They do turn around, a dangerous move for one of them, and transform. The other one will manage to escape narrowly with his life. Peacekeepers and Javelin Troopers are going to be heading to the north side of the map, potentially for some harass. They're not going to be trying to use the high ground to their advantage, of course. Tangus can be pretty effective at dealing with those units on the high ground. Great transform ability. But a couple of Tangus going to be moving up to the north side. Some extra walls going to be constructed as well. Common tactic is to try and just use some Javelin Troopers to bust down that refinery. It can be super effective with the laser lock. And, uh, hey, you got the extra dojo core. You might as well put it to work. You might as well get some kind of value out of it. Tangu's going to be going to be tangoing with the Apollos in the middle of the map there. And it looks like the Tangu... Oh, it did not manage to escape. And instead got, gu got gunned down by that Apollo. You need a lot of Tangus to be able to take on the Apollos in a direct fight. But now that they're on the ground, they will be able to deal with these infantry. Well, actually, no. If it's just the two of them... Uh, Nope, not enough Javelin Troopers. So they were able to focus down the Javelin Troopers, which is really the big threat to this refinery. And from that point forward, you don't even have to kill the Peacekeepers right away as long as you just keep them from, you know, carving off some power plants or doing too much of your damage. You should really just be able to eliminate them without taking too much damage. And going to be annoying, Edvin uses his last Peacekeeper, puts it into the, the shield mode there, so it just takes a couple of moments longer to kill. Shy able to grab both of the oil derricks, something I assume Edvin would like to rectify at some point. MCV moving out for the expand, a little bit behind that of Edvin. War Factory just now going to be going down. Classic three Apollos, single Vindicator kind of combo. And uh, I assume, is he going for... That's a long ways. I can never remember how far the, the tech upgrade or the build radius for the Conyard actually goes, but... I assume he's going to be going for cryocopters, which means... Nope, he's not going for any tier 2. Going for a power plant, I guess. But, uh, yeah, normally you get that tier 2 upgrade. You get yourself three Apollos and uh, one Vindicator and then two or three cryocopters. And you just use that stop micro to make your to make it as effective as possible. To get real value <laughs> out of it. Edvin, on the other hand, uh, losing, the, losing the Vindicator there. Not able to, not able to clear up that refinery, so... A little bit difficult there. Apollos are going to be chasing down these Tangus, and it's like you can run from them, you can try and hide, but it's not going to work. The Apollos are going to kill your Tangus 
almost every time. Unless, of course, you have overwhelming numbers, which Shy did not. Edvin heading out to refineries 4 and 5 out on the water. Going to be getting his economy up and rolling. And uh, slowly, slowly pushing this one Imperial Warrior back. One building at a time. Edvin, I don't know that that is necessarily the best the best strategy there, but we'll see. Single Riptide does get spotted. Apollos are going to be body blocking for it. Chopper VX on the ground to help deal with these Apollos and in general just deal with the very annoying air units of this allied player. Air units in the hands of a, of a strong allied player is going to be so annoying and difficult to deal with. Tangu's going to be running up here. They're going to be going, I assume, to try and explode on top of all of those Javelin Troopers. Riptide and single IFV going to be... Actually, a second Riptide going to be joining in here. So with good micro, these Tangus could end up going down here, especially when he jumps out these... Oh, don't die, Javelin Troopers. One of them does go down. Two of them do get killed. And the others do manage to survive for now, but... This attack has been severely delayed. I assume he wanted to punch down a wall and then punch down this refinery from the high ground. Instead, this has just been slowly, slowly delayed. Riptide does go down, but now the attack can commence. Shy does need to do something about this, and piecemealing one unit up here at a time is probably not the best way to do it. Although, if he gets the kill, <laughs> the body block is perfect from this IFV. No, it's not perfect anymore. A second tsunami tank going to be joining it, and the wall does remain strong on the, on the low ground, which means even if they had eliminated those tsunami tanks... It would not have actually mattered. Point defense droids going to be coming down, able to keep those tsunami tanks alive. And third refinery up and running, but it's number four with number five on the way for Edvin. So Edvin, he's going to be ahead in the economy game. The oil derricks do help out a little bit, but they are no match for fully functioning, fully operational refineries. Edvin with the clear economic advantage going forward in this game, but is he going to have the ground army to really contend with that many tsunamis, with that many chopper VXs and Tangus from Shy? Well, that's a good question. Conyard moves out to the water for Shy, potentially going to be taking his fourth and fifth refineries some point soon. Dolphins going to be pumping away, and there is the high technology upgrade. Or no, that's the, that's like the command point thing. Uh, whatever the tier two is called. Yeah, that. Going to be coming up. Uh, potentially some assault destroyers coming out, but also could just be not quite teching up to tier three just yet. But uh, eventually could be going for some aircraft carriers, as they can be very effective on well on any map, but on this map as well. But if you can find a way to keep your opponent from being able to claim his fourth and fifth refineries, while you, on the other hand, this is more of a fight that the Tangus like. Three Apollos versus all of these Tangus, and the Apollos finally do get cleared out. Tsunami tanks, four of them as a hit squad, going to be heading out. One assault destroyer with repairs, going to be trying to hold the line. I assume he's going to be pumping out either a second assault destroyer or a couple of, a couple of riptides or something, maybe some dolphins. And Cryo Shot going to be coming down. Does avoid it very nicely. One Tsunami Tank gives his life just for the information since there were no actual attacks. But this Chopper VX will be able to do a little bit of damage. It's so heavily damaged. And uh, and I assume a multi gunner turret will just be... Or a Hydrofoil will just be produced. And then this attack will be completely negated. So, right there... Edvin able to hold strong and actually a surround and the Dolphins are get, are they actually going to get the kill on this MCV? They're sacrificing themselves. They decide to not attack the Tangus and instead go for the jump. One of them goes heroic as they start claiming that, well, they didn't get as much splash damage as I was anticipating, but they got those Tangus very low on HP and uh, narrowly almost able to just kill all of the Tangus there. Shy would have been in a lot of trouble if those Dolphins had survived and he had lost all of his Tangus. But now he can turn them around, he can get them healed up, and they can be a bit of a defensive force. Two Assault Destroyers activating their Black Hole Armor? What is that called? Uh, it doesn't tell me. Yeah, whatever their, their armor ability is called, going to be absorbing 
all of the incoming fire while the peacekeepers and the javelin troopers actually clear stuff up. Can the tsunami tanks get the crushes is the question because the tsunami tanks can be quick and they can run around the assault destroyers and avoid getting crushed by them. Exactly, yeah, yeah, just like that, yeah. Great demonstration, Shy. Thank you very much for showing how tsunami tanks can go directly in between the assault destroyers and avoid actually having to fight directly. Tengu's going to be trying to run away, and that Riptide narrowly escaping, getting crushed by that MCV. This is where some shrink rays would be absolutely great. The Assault Destroyer gets cleaned up by the Tengu's and the Chopper VXs, which means these Javelin Troopers get slaughtered by those Tengu's. MCV going to be looking to re-establish, I assume, the economy for Shy, as Edvin has been rolling with these five refineries for a long, long time. The fact that Edvin has not has not either reclaimed or taken out these refineries is uh, is a bit of a misstep there. They definitely are very exposed. Edvin has been in the has been the one in control of the majority of the map and certainly the majority of the land for almost this entire game. He's been keeping shy on the back foot. He's been keeping shy mostly in his base. Uh, the Rex does go down there. Probably not the big big wins that Edvin was hoping for in this attack. Trades out one Riptide for it, but he might actually get, nope, the Chopper VX goes back for the repair. The Tengus clean up the Javelin Trooper, and uh, Shy able to avoid total, total disaster, at least for now. Rex going down in close proximity to Shy's main base, and of course, the high ground here and the front door do, prevent, do present a difficult defense for Shy in this kind of a position. Where to clear the high ground, he either needs flying units, oh my gosh, or the multi-gunner turret will be deployed. I always forget how big the radius of the allied MCV is. And it's like, yeah, one multi-gunner turret is not going to win the day. But if you drop a multi-gunner turret, you know, back here while you're attacking here or up on this high ground, it's just so, so annoying to deal with, so difficult to just, uh, you're just creating so many problems for the Empire opponent to deal with. Uh, triple, wow, triple racks in, uh, going on there, so, uh, that's a big infantry swell going to be coming up from Shy. when you've got three refineries, quad racks, so he's got four racks, one of them upgraded to tier two, uh, that's, yeah, I'm not, I was not actually sure that he has the economy to support four racks production plus a mecha bay. But hey, if you've got the Mecha Bay and you're not actually using it for anything, then that means you've got more money for infantry. Shy going to be losing his refinery. That's 33% of his economy going down. Unable to establish anything on the water. I thought that MCV was going to be his big move to try and get his economy back on track in this game. Get it equal to Edvin and a huge push forward. The Mirage tank is going to be slicing through these infantry. They need to focus it down just so that he can eliminate something and have his tank busters be more effective. The MCV packs up and goes for the crushes. It gets absolutely killed as this huge push out from Shy is able to clean up this front forward base for Edvin. He invested quite a bit into that location and it did not provide the value that he wanted, but Shy needs to take this momentum and run with it. He needs to clear out the land. He needs to stop everything that Edvin is doing and just cut the throat of the land forces of Edvin. He's going to be pulling everything over here onto this ramp. He's going to be going for the crushes. When you're crushing with a couple of tsunami tanks, I don't know that you need to bring all of your tank busters, all of your Imperial warriors, and all the rest of your army with you. They could be making moves maybe on this power plant on the oil derrick or trying to bust down the front door of Edvin over here. Hydrofoils out on the water and dolphins are great, but they don't do much against all of these tank busters, Imperial warriors, and tsunami tanks on land. Unable to establish in the, uh, in the northwest position there an economy. Edvin is still ahead in terms of the money. You know, he's, he's doing just fine. He's being... He can trade inefficiently without too many repercussions. And uh, that one that one harvester, he's, he's trying his best. He is not maybe helping the team as much as he thinks he is, but he's trying his best. A lot of peacekeepers, if they get on top of this army, could break this many tank busters and 
Actually, with the tsunamis gone, uh, and no tangus, the tangus going to be transforming right now. The Imperial Warrior is going to be pushing through, and it looks like the Peacekeepers have been dealt with, which is what you want. Riptides on the south coming in with a couple of IFVs. Cryo getting on the high ground doing something. Uh, was that a, I think that was a misclick there from Edvin. And this army turns south. He needs to really, again, cut the throat, go for the economy, kill the infrastructure of Edvin. If he forces Edvin to only be out on the water, well, considering that Shy hasn't taken his own water expansions, he wouldn't be at as much of an advantage, but he would be at an advantage if he could expand out into the water. But if he can control the land, force Edvin completely off of it, then he can start carving away back into this game. Edvin been uh, probably more economic in his trades. He's been able to actually claim a lot more, a lot better trades for the majority of this game, but Shy going to be carving a path forward here. I don't know if he's just banking money. He's not producing a whole lot. He is rolling off of those three refineries. But really, the follow-up to this is the big question, because if this is it, if this is your final army, I don't think he's going to be able to pull this game together, just purely on the fact that tank busters can't swim. They can't use their lasers out on water, so... Shy needs to be thinking about what his follow-up is this. He's follow-up to this is... He's going to have to go out into the water. He's going to have to go into the separate corners of the map. He's going to have to clear out both of those expansion bases for Edvin. And he killed the MCB of Edvin, but at this point, he's probably... Yeah, he's rebuilt it. So, that's annoying to have to do, but... Not that bad. Couple of Tangus going out here for the harass. Barracks does get shut down. The combo, uh, the combo of point defense drones on the Tangus and the tank busters make this a powerful, powerful, difficult army to deal with. At least for Edvin at this moment. And this poor, poor harvester. He just wants to do his job. He wants to do his nine to five, but he is unable to. There's the transform to deal with those peacekeepers. And the tank busters, uh, well, you know, you can. You don't You don't have to deal with the walls. You don't have to kill all of the walls right this moment. One multi-gunner turret. No, a second one is there. Going to be helping to deal with some of these tangus. But, of course, they just rotated to the outside of the refineries. And uh, more tangus going to be coming in. Could also be building maybe tsunami tanks, which are pretty good out on the water. And it looks like Shy is going to be able to slowly, slowly pick away at this, at these refineries. And with uh, investing this much in defenses, that means there isn't army other locations. Although he is getting up to aircraft carriers, so he has teched all the way up to tier 3. He has managed to maintain that kind of tech lead. And uh, taking out this command hub bit by bit, Shy is slowly, slowly trying to carve away at the original main base of Edvin. But if you leave, if you leave a stronghold, if you leave Edvin, the the ability to rebuild, then it may not be a clear, clear victory. Still, it's going to be hard fought again. The transition for Shy is what I'm worried about. He's got a lot of chopper VXs. Hydrofoils are, are pretty good though. So like, you gotta you gotta deal with the hydrofoils. You gotta do something there. And it looks like that command hub was sold off. Uh, yeah, four multi-gunner turrets over there, aircraft carriers out on the water, but with the dolphins and the hydrofoils acting as defense, this is going to be a hard army to shut down with just Tangus and Chopper VXs. There's the transform, can he... Uh, crowd getting goes down right in the middle of, uh, right in the middle of Edvin's base. Going to actually be freezing the uh, freezing the power plant there. MCV is potentially going to get eliminated, but these hydrofoils are going to be able to run easy defense against the chopper VXs. The Tengus eventually will take them down. Where are the dolphins in the defense? And not even the assault destroyers are close by. Going to be cleaning up one refinery. The other refinery does still stand, but keep in mind, Edvin on the other side of the map has been rocking with these four refineries for a long, long time. So as he creates a greater disparity in the income between himself and his opponent. His advantage should be growing. Edvin able to trade somewhat inefficiently in some of these situations, but still remain overall ahead in the game. 
Reestablishing a refinery in Edvin's main base is shy. Looks like another bombing run coming in from that aircraft carrier, wherever it is, on the north side of the map. Dolphins going to be running out scout in front of Edvin's aircraft carrier, trying to make sure that the way is safe. And uh, Edvin, with with his power out on the water, and with Shy uh, unable or choosing not to respond to it in a very serious way, I mean, it means that Edvin is just uncontested and stuff like this, you know, one aircraft carrier out on the water. But with all this support, it's hard to shut down. When you haven't transitioned into Navy. Shy pretty much rebuilding his whole base now that he's got two refineries and a mecha bay in, in uh, Edmund's old main base. But this won't last forever. Only 11,500 between those two refineries. While 25 on that one and 24 on that one. I mean, almost 50,000 between those two refineries. Edvin's playing the long game. He's That's what he's set up for. Shy had a great move on land, but no transition to follow it up. And I always love this. I love when harvesters go heroic. I love when they're able to actually do something in the game, but it is not this game that they will be the heroes. It is not this game where they will win the day. I guess the only thing that Shy's really got going for him is that Edvin has been on, on low power. He lost his MCV and... You know, his defenses aren't doing anything, but there's nothing attacking, so what do you need defenses for? And actually, if Shy knew that, he may have been able to come in here, clean everything up. And then, heck, even if you could swing down here and just snipe one of these refineries, if you kill the two on the north side of the map and one of them in the south, you're in an okay position. I mean, you could try and suicide onto the hydrofoils, but I don't think that's really going to work. There are four hydrofoils here. I'm not sure what the numbers say on seven chopper VXs versus four hydrofoils. Two hydrofoils going to be showing up. The chopper VXs aren't even going to try and suicide on them. So now it's six chopper VXs trying to find some kind of angle. They're trying to find some kind of advantage that they can use to crack the naval forces of Edvin. But, I mean, there's just not a whole lot here for Shy. He's back on a Tier 1 Mecha Bay, which means no tsunamis. He never established a naval front, which means no Shogun battleships. Uh, what are the... Whatever the cruisers are called, you know. He's just got... He's got nothing really going on. Yeah, he's going to be able to clean up one Assault Destroyer, but at the cost of two, three, four, five, six. All six Chopper VXs. That's the cost. That's hilarious. That is a lot of Tangus, but they all got EMP'd, which means the Emperor's Rage isn't actually going to be doing anything at the current moment. There's the Assault Destroyer going to be utilizing the gravitational armor, the EMP, but the Dolphins are just slowly going to chip away at this, and this is like the Hail Mary for Shy, and it totally didn't work. Double EMP shut down absolutely everything. The MCV survives, are you kidding me? Surrounded by exploding Tangus, and he survives. That was some clutch EMP action from Edvin. I mean, yeah, it shut down his own assault destroyer. It shut down his own MCV. He's literally just kamikaze in his own units to kill that MCV. He finally gets it, but of course, Shy is out of options. He's been on lower economy for pretty much the entirety of this game, and now. Rocking those four refineries for the last five, ten minutes or something. Edvin has just been able to just carve out such a lead, such an advantage in this game. Although maybe these tank busters. Oh, four of them are heroic. You know, maybe the aircraft carriers will uh, switch into no attack mode. And then they'll run over here and they'll just park. They'll park themselves within range of those tank busters. And then, Shy could kill them. 1,500 credits left in this ore refinery, or in this ore mine, as the refinery gets uh, gets taken down. MCV looks like it's on the move somewhere. It's into the middle of the map. Never did grab that garage. Probably would have been a useful thing to have, considering 
how, many, how much he's been relying on his Mecha Bay forces. At the very least, it would give him some kind of some kind of ability to uh, that's hilarious. Some kind of ability to get extra value, but that one harvester just like slowly, slowly stealing Shy's money. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a heroic, two heroic aircraft carriers. Five Tangus. Is he? Is, is, is he gonna? There's no MCV here. Maybe he would be going for like an MCV cap and sell? That? That'd be kind of great, but there's no MCV here. I don't think it's actually gonna work. The Tangus suiciding themselves against these dolphins, against that assault destroyer, and Shy has been defeated. That was his last attempt. That was his last chance. Edbin will claim that game with the, I want to take a quick look at the resource tab. So pretty even in the beginning and then past the seven minute mark really. Edvin is just at a total advantage for the entirety of the game. And uh, real quick, or collected, yeah, 50,000 more cash for Edvin than his opponent. So, too bad for Shy. He had a great punch in the middle of the game, but unable to transition, unable to follow it up with anything to deal with the naval forces of Edvin. And that will do it for this game. Thank you very much for watching. And this is Cybert, signing out.